So today I'll be discussing on how you can update your menu on Food Panda because I believe some of you are having really a difficult time uploading, um, updating new menu and updating your menu prices. So today I'll be discussing on how and showing you on how to update them very easily. So now I'm gonna share my screen. So this is um, first. You need to prepare your food panda restaurant portal. And then, this is your will be going always on the menu management if we're gonna update our menu item. So first, you have to select which store. So this is just one of my vendors who's really having a hard time updating their menu menu items on food panda. So I erase, no, I erase all of their menu items for uh, for easier. And then, so this one completely the empty menu management. So as a vendor, if you have new offerings or if you want to change prices, you need to prepare your menu. So this is your menu no? on Food Panda. So you have to make sure that your menu that we're gonna upload on the menu management is. The menu that you want to be seen also in Food Panda. So, dapat then meron logo ng company para para it will be approved on our on the menu management. Because if the company sees na if the content team of the Food Panda sees na parang you're just making it up, ganon ganon, so it won't be approved. So again, I would just like to highlight na. The menu that you're gonna prepare must be also the menu that you want to be seen on your Food Panda store. So, ito yung menu items and then also including the price. So, kung ano yung price na you want to appear on the Food Panda app, dapat yun din yung, po, yung price na pinipreprepare niyo for the menu. So, you have to also make sure na the menu must be on JPEG. So, tingnan natin kung naka-JPEG ba yung... yung menu and file info so dapat jpeg para it will be approved hmm. i'm not sure if it's on jpeg i'll check again ayan naka jpeg so dapat naka jpeg if hindi naman naka JPEG yung menu nyo, you can use PowerPoint very easy. Insert the menu na nagawa nyo. And then, okay, na. insert siya. And insert nyo here. And then, ano lang, save nyo lang siya as JPEG. File, save as. Tapos browse desktop. Save to desktop. Tapos yan, i-save save as type nyo as JPEG. Para maging JPEG po yung file niya. Okay. So, so in this video, I'm gonna show you kung paano mag-add ng new item on Food Panda. So, I'm tasked now to help this vendor na i-upload this one. Ito lahat. I-upload ko siya sa store niya. So, um, let's start. So, yung una is... So, again, food panda vendors, um, yung na-observe ko is, um, dapat talaga, you need to prepare a menu. So, para ma-approve yung, yung, ano nyo, yung changes nyo. Um, in, it includes change in price and change in and add menu. Dapat ganito na menu. JPEG, may logo ng store, and clear po kung ano po yung items para ma-approve siya within 1 to 2 days. Hmm. Um, pinaliit ko lang siya para mabilis ako. So, nasa menu management tayo. Add item. And then, so, um, you can also make categories. Pero, ha, sa, for this menu, isa lang. Wala siyang category. category. Diretso lang ako. So, for belly price 200 so as you can see 200 po and then dapat 200 po yung then yung menu na ginawa nyo para ma ano siya ma-approve yan 200 
if you have also a description of it, much better. And then, saka na yung, saka na po yung dish photo. Dish photo is yung picture ng pork belly. Saka na lang siya pag approved na siya. And then, click publish. Ayan. Uh, select pa pala category. Wala na akong category dito. Ayan ba category? Wala naman category. Stay on page. Sige. Gawa na lang tayo ng category muna. Kasi nag-error siya. Ayaw niya. Naghahanap siya ng category. Ano management. Gawa tayo ng category. Category. Main dish. So, let's add item. Ayan na. So, pagawa nyo, kapag upon making the category, it will appear here na. So, for the And you click, click, click publish and then upload new line in menu. Upload natin yung menu natin. Na ginawa natin. This one. Ayan. So, yan o. Oh. Okay. It will be submitted 24 to 48 hours to be approved. And then, proceed lang tayo sa other item. Palitin ko lang ha. Para I can see. Next is chicken barbecue. So, mas maganda din na uh, you specify for the whole chicken barbecue, which part, you know, may mga ganun. Para it's easier for the customer to see or identify what are you offer, really offering. Price, 150 Again, dapat yung price niya dito, same price ng menu na i-submit para ma-approve. And then, dapat yung name niya, dapat ganito din yung name niya. Click Publish. So, since may na-upload na tayo na dine-in menu, pwede na lang ito, select dine-in menu you uploaded before. So, yan. Appear na yung first menu na sinabit na. Done! So, tag na lang tayo. Pork barbecue. So, more or less, it is just one piece. So, lagyan nyo na yung description. Para ma-identify nyo yung benefit. Me, customer. Okay. Select the menu. Ayan. Balbak po yan. 200. So, after ko nito, I'll show you ano, another video pag if you want to change price. So, chair. Okay. Caldereta item. Caldereta. Caldereta 300. 300. So, uh, you can use PowerPoint. You can use, um, pwede din kayo mag Word file. Then, lagyan lagi nyo lang ng logo niya. Tapos, you save as JPEG or you snip tool save as JPEG. Pwede din ganun. You can also use Canva. Tapos, save as JPEG. The most important thing talaga is dapat JPEG yung menu ninyo para ma-approve and ma-accept ng menu, menu management. Let's try to see with egg. This is egg. Fried veggie loaf. Yeah. So, andito na po yung mga um, sinabit natin. It's on the pending side naman. So, we'll wait for it na ma-approve. No, one to two things. Fried veggie.
make sure I'm doing the one. Yeah, for example, lechon meal. It's uh, mas maganda na lagi nyo yung description with rice ba siya, with greens ba siya. So walang nilagay si si vendor. So I'll just I'll just ask her to put description later on pag na upload na siya, na upload na siya para easier. Para for sure, para sure na may order. Di malito si kung ano bang kasama ng lechon meal, pork ribs, grilled match. Potato. Tapos na ba itong pork ribs with mashed potato? Proto na ba? Proto pa. Rice. Ah. Rice. Ah. Green rice. One cup. Yeah. Iba yung rice. Rice. Bakit? Bata. Bata. Okay. So, in here, yung soft drinks ni Vendor, meron siyang Coke, Sprite, Royal Coke Zero in can. So, mas maganda na gawin nyo talaga siyang, i-upload nyo siya one item para if maubusan si Coke, you can mark items unavailable. Kasi pag ginawa nyo siyang choice group, yung Coke, Rice, Run, and Coke Zero, hindi siya ma-unavailable ni, ni vendor. So, dapat upload it one by one. Coke in can. Coke regular kata yan. In can. 75, that's two categories. I'm going to put it in the middle. I'm going to put it in the middle. Okay. Try it in the middle. Okay. 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 So, comment lang what you want me to discuss. On my next videos, I'll find time to discuss it. Again, I'm making this video for my vendors now who are really having a hard time updating um their menu on Food Panda. So it's very easy. You just have to make sure that you make a uh, menu in JPEG. The menu that you're gonna make must somehow reflect your dining menu para it will be approved and then dapat naka jpeg format para ma approve kasi if it's not on jpeg format siya na up na upload here sa portal and then it doesn't have to be like this na may mga pictures kanya pwede lang may content design may logo yan pwede na yan siya okay tapos Okay, we're done. So we're just gonna wait for this one um approved now. And then um scenario is for example, um there are price changes, my markup sa mga suppliers, ganon. So you want to change price. So for example, um this is also your menu. No? So you can put it in new shang if it's here so um, i-paste nyo siya sa uh, PowerPoint. Pwede din ganyan. Tapos, let's see. Example, gusto ni increase ni vendor ng ang, um, let's see, ano ba? Ah, yung fresh lumpia at repases. Gusto niya gawing 85. So, pwede din ganito lang yung gawin nyo. Shapes, add ka na shape. Lagyan nyo lang ng ganyan. Tapos, fill nyo lang ng ano, white. Click nyo siya. Fill nyo ng white. Ay, white, white. Outline, no outline. 
Yan, tapos insert ka ng ano. Pwede, or, you want, or pwede ka din gumawa ng bago, ganyan. Pwede din. Pero maganda kasi na um, upon submission, makikita kasi, makikita ng content team na meron ka pag ibang item. So, gawin yung 100. Oops, what's up? Kasi maboy yung 100. <laughs> again, again. Yeah. Shapes. Pinabunan ko lang yung 75. Tapos, fill ng white. Tapos, remove the outline. Yan. So, nag-insert lang ako ng... Um, ano pwede? Pwede naman dito mag-add text. Um, color ba siya? Ayan. Red. Yan. 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 So, you can save us. Pwede ka mag save us. Browse. Desktop. Then, uh, JPEG. Like, new menu. Just this one. So, 100 na yung fried veggie lumpia. So, um, for example, na-upload na yung ginawa natin. Punta lang tayo sa punta lang tayo sa store ni vendor. Ayan. So, yan. Approve na. Ang bilis. So, for example, na-approve na. -approve, na, -approve na. fried lumpia. <laughs> Fried lumpia is not here. Yung pending lang si Po. So, 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 let's do it again. The fried veggie lumpia. <laughs> Bilis lang. For example, si Chicken Barbecue, gawin yung 200. You want to change to 200. So, edit nyo lang na maging 200 si Chicken Barbecue. Kapal yan. Gawin yung 200. Yan. You want to 200. Then, save nyo lang again. And then, when you change your 200, when you click publish, napin nyo lang yung menu na nag, na clearly state sa 200 yung Chicken Barbecue. So, ganun lang, ma-approve lang. Okay. Hope you learn something new on your menu management. There are also tutorials in the university on how to change pictures, how to read your invoices, and all. So, please like, subscribe, and comment some ideas on what you want me to discuss on my next video. Bye-bye.